hello, good people of the internet. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. Ooh, I got a great big bag of clothes from the Goodwill. I needed some clothes for spring. I'm supposed to be starting school soon, so. Um, all this kind of goes together. Um, I wanted some pieces to kind of go with a couple of the Lily Pulitzer things that I have. All of which I bought secondhand. So, I went to Goodwill on three different occasions. Well, let me tell you about that. The first time, the card machines went down. So, I went back the next day, but I had my two small children with me. So, I only got a few things. And then I went back again with Victoria. And that's where the bulk of this came from. I know uh, this isn't my usual type of video, but I thought somebody might want to see it. So, if you like it, stick around. If you don't, hey, you're not going to hurt my feelings. It's cool. You like what you like. We'll start with the one thing I know for sure didn't fit, and I was really bummed. This uh, overall dress. I really wanted one of these. I've been looking for a while, and I haven't found one in my size. Um, and this one's a large, but it's like a junior's large, so I guess that's why. It's just a little too tight around my midsection. I didn't have a problem with the length or anything, so. I don't know what's going to happen to that. I'll either redonate it or maybe put it on my Mercari. Um, I might give it to my cousin, but it might be too big for her. Hi. I'm making a video. Yeah. yeah. I got a t-shirt, well, a tank top, in this, like, neon pink color. And it's from a local golf tournament, but it says, We Be Clubbing. I thought that was really cute. This is actually a little bit big on me. But I don't know if it's been washed yet, but if I wash it, it might shrink, so that's fine. Bryson's going to join me. Can you say hi? Hi. Yeah. I'm going to save the things I like best for last. Okay, so those I got on the first trip. I'll show you everything else from the first trip. I got this top, which is very... Lily Pulitzer, Vera Bradley looking. It's got a little bit of a bell sleeve. And I really like this um, decoration right here. It's got a little keyhole on the back. This is Crown and Ivy. Size medium. This is a brand they carry at Belk. I know Belk is um, primarily a southern chain. I don't know if they're anywhere else. They may have it at Bell's. I know you guys over in Florida, you have Bell's department store. So, I don't know if Crown and Ivy is available in your area. I've heard it called the Poor Woman's Lily Pulitzer, and I'm totally fine with that. Um, I can't afford Lily Pulitzer at retail. Even the sale prices are pretty steep for me. Like I said, all my Lily Pulitzer pieces are secondhand. So, but this will go nicely with it. And it looks like it, and that's good enough for me. I also got this hot pink tank. It's got these like little X's where the straps cross in the front. And it's got like a handkerchief hem. This is really pretty hot pink color. And this is by Gibson Latimer. I think it's just a department store junior brand, but it's a size large. And this one did fit. I've already tried on the stuff from the first trip. I tried this one on and I was worried that it wouldn't fit because it is a medium. And this brand kind of runs small. I'm a large. I'm like a size 8, 10. And uh, that did fit, so... I'm smaller up top, so I think that's why. If it were like a dress and a medium, I probably couldn't do it. Um, and then I found this t-shirt. I don't think it's vintage. It kind of looks vintage. I just love this print so much, these roses. Um, this is White Stag, which is, I think, a JCPenney brand. But it's 100% cotton. This is actually an extra large, but it does fit. And I got this to go under the overall dress, but it doesn't fit. So maybe I can find something else to wear over this or like a high waist skirt i have a coral high waist skirt that might go with the oranges in here anyway who decided to name a women's clothing brand white stag honestly what were y'all thinking will you take your paddle and go elsewhere instead of beating me up please thank you not that kind of video okay oh and the last thing I was so excited when I saw this hanging up. It's like this neon bubblegum pink. 
ruffle off the shoulder top. Got little ruffle cuffs. It's so pretty. And it's also crown and ivy size medium. So I grabbed this and I was like, mm, I don't know. It might work. But I figured I would try it because I liked it so much. And it fits. So I thought I might wear that for my birthday, but I did find something else. So now I just have to decide when I figure out what I'm doing, which one I'll wear. Okay. And then when I went back with Victoria, I found quite a bit more. I was really looking for dresses and shorts. I think it's really hot. It's already in the high 70s here in South Mississippi. This is my life. I got a pair of jeans. Um, they're just a Target brand. Oh, Walmart brand, Time and Truth. They're 99% cotton, which is pretty good. Um, these are an 8. I have a pair of jeans that are a 10, and they're a little bit big. I have to belt them. So I'm hoping that these fit. I haven't tried these on yet. Looks like somebody cut the hem, but that's fine. I'll just cuff them, whatever. Oh, and they have, like, distressing. Excuse me. Watch Coco Melon. Mm. Ah! Got another tropical top. This one's a tank. It's got these really pretty like palm print on it. Oh, it even has a little tiny pocket right there. This is Rebelicious One, just another junior brand. Maybe from JCPenney, I'm not sure. But Really pretty colors. It's going to look good with these jeans because it pulls from the blue. Um, and it's got a little knot in the front. So maybe I'll wear this with my other jeans that are a little bit higher waisted. Because things are pretty short on me already. So when things are cropped, I really need to... I don't want to show my belly. I've had three kids. Another pair of pants. And these pale pink skinnies. I was born in 87. I wear skinny jeans. Sorry, kids. These are Juicy Couture. I'm sure these are just the ones that um, came from Kohl's. These are a size 10, but they're the pull-on jaggings, so I probably do need a 10 in these. Um, but I really like the color of this pale pink, so that'll be pretty for spring and to go with all the other pink and green <laughs> colors I've got here. Okay. I got a slip. I love going through the pajamas and the nightgowns and stuff. Um, this is a vintage slip. Just to wear under dresses that might be a little too sheer. Got lace at the bottom. Nothing exciting. But um, it does have the vintage tags. No write-up. Nylon tricot from Vanity Fair. So, it's very rare to find like silk and satin pieces. But um, now everything's polyester, so you don't really see nylon a whole lot either. I got that. I always need a slip, and they're hard to find these days. I know that's like an older lady thing, but I'm kind of modest. I don't want to wear sheer stuff. And some things are just made really thin these days, so. Grab this vintage pastel sweater. We're getting out of sweater weather, but I couldn't leave it. This really pale pink with the white snowflakes. It's got a turtleneck. And it says Jennifer Moore jeans wear. 55% Raimi, 45% cotton size large. Um, and it's not a screen printed tag. So that's how you know it's at least from the 90s. Um, it does have one little stain on it, but I think it'll come up. So I'll have that to wear next winter. On the handful of days that it gets really cold here in South Mississippi. Oh. oh, also from the pajama section, I got this robe. I don't know if I'm going to use it as a robe or if I'll wear it as like a kimono. I see a lot of people doing that. It's not vintage or anything, but I really like the colors. It's like this pastel buttery yellow. And it has pale pink flowers and ribbons. Very 90s, 80s colors print 
and it's got a little bit of lace detail there on the sleeve a little bit of pleating really pretty to be you know not vintage some nice details so maybe i'll wear that over something or i can always use a robe because i'm lazy and i like to live in my robe for half the day found the sweatshirt it's really a pretty teal color it's a little bit like a fleecy material inside but it's still kind of thin and lightweight so maybe on a little bit cooler days I could still get some wear out of this this season so the tags have been cut out so I don't know the brand or the size or anything but I really like the color and it feels nice and soft Bryson already had a cat nap earlier in the car, so he's had a nice little boost of energy today. I got this hot pink sweater. Oh, it's also a turtleneck. Cloud Chaser. I think it's just another mall brand, Junior's brand. It's like a cropped, um, kind of a bigger knit, hot pink. I don't know if it's a long sleeve. That might be like a three-quarter. Um... Again, feels pretty thin, so I might get some wear out of it this spring, or I can carry it when I get enrolled in school if the classroom's cold. That would look cute with some of the pieces I have. Hey, stop. Okay, and then I got this vintage sequin tank. I showed it to Victoria and she's like, wow, that's really pretty. And she even looked it up and saw um, a couple of other pieces like this, but in black for sale online. Um, Her Hera Lee Leela's? Hera Leela's? I don't know. Vintage tag because it's not screen printed, but it's completely sequined. It even has like some sequin fringe at the bottom. Very, very pretty. So I might be wearing this for my birthday. If not, you know, maybe New Year's. I know a lot of people don't wear pastels on New Year's, but it is me. It's silk lined. And I believe the outside may be wool, just based on the age. Um, so I don't know. It has a couple of teeny tiny little strings and um, one or two little snags here on the back. Little moth holes. But I think I can fix them, no problem. I don't think it'll even be noticeable with all this gorgeous beading going on. I'm very excited about this. So maybe I'll wear that for my birthday. Either that or the neon bubblegum shirt. And then the big item I got. I'll take the price tag off. It's this coach bag. I don't buy luxury handbags new. I have once or twice in my life. And while that is fun, um, I'm just so dang cheap. I just can't do it. Especially now that I have three children. I just can't bring myself to do it. But at the Goodwill, I don't have a problem doing that. This is like a lavender, lilac color, really light purple. And it's got this like camel colored handles with the tone underneath. It's still got its little tag. It looks authentic to me. I have bought and sold a few. I mean, it's got the serial number inside and the little label. The inside is pretty clean. Now, the outside does need a little bit of TLC. It is a little dirty. But, because it's on the fabric, I have no problem getting it like that. Because I think I can clean it. Um, on fabrics, I always start with the baby wipe. You'd be amazed at what baby wipes will take off and what they'll clean. And then um, I may try like a little bit of Dawn soap or um, I may move on to the same treatment. I'm not sure, but I think I can clean this up. I mean, it's in really good shape. And like I said, I'm not going to buy one of these new. And even at our buy sale trade store, they're still pretty expensive. Now they're, they're more picky, so they're in better condition than this, but um, it's really pretty. It's pastel, you know, it's a nice handbag. So I wanted to get that for myself and I'm gonna clean it up and then it'll look almost as good as new so yeah 
That is my giant spring clothing haul, entirely thrifted. If you stuck through all this, thank you for watching. Um, let me know what you thought, what you liked, if you found anything cool lately, what you're wearing this spring. I would love to talk about it down in the comments. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!